Hi everyone, welcome back. Thanks for watching today. I do have another process video of my project life spread uh, that I wanted to share with you today. And um, this is for week 52 and a half. Yes, you did read that right. Um, that is actually kind of how I handle the end of the year. Um, you, when, no, December ended, it ended on, the, what was it, the 27th, I believe, was the last full week, which would have been week 52. Um, and so you still have the last few days of the month, and I don't want to carry those in, over into 2015. Uh, that's kind of just how my, how I work. Um, I want it still in the 2014 Project Life book because technically it is 2014. So what I do is I just call it week 52 and a half, and that is how I finish up that last um, last few days of the of the year that uh, carry over past week 52. Uh, so that's what I'm working on this uh, in this spread. This also, uh, of course, was New Year's Eve, and so. Um, Probably most of my pictures are from New Year's Eve um, that night, but uh, there are a few others in there as well. Um, what I've done on the the title card there that you see, the week 52 and a half, that was printed from my silhouette. Uh, not printed, excuse me, it was cut. I actually just created the file using the font in, in my silhouette and cut it using the glitter pal paper because uh, I did want to have a little bit of that gold and glimmer since it is uh, was for New Year's Eve. Um, the happy 2015 that's on the photo uh, and also the ring in the new year card and then also the new year's eve cut out those were all from the cut shop on etsy i'll put a link uh, to that shop for you in the description below uh, so those were cut files i cut those on the silhouette and uh, just added them. That little transparent card there behind the New Year's Eve, uh, it's kind of like a transparent with a gold chevron. That was uh, in a studio calico. It was like a special uh, paper pack that they offered and it was all transparent, uh, transparent uh, cards. And so that was from one of their um, offers that they had made, one of their purchases. I got it off of their Studio Calico website. And so for most of this layout, I am using the Hip Kit Club for November. Um, that's where the Joy card came from. That was in the LA Studio pack that came in the kit. The little star tag, uh, that was from American Crafts uh, tags that came in the kit. And then the pattern paper that you're seeing uh, was from the kit as well. So I used primarily the November Hip Kit on this Project Life layout. And so I am just um, placing my photos down. Uh, mostly I use either a 3x4 or a square photo. It, a lot of times it just depends on the orientation of the photo or what, you know, lends itself more to the, um, you know, to the uh, orientation of the photo. Uh, so I am just going ahead and, and placing those down and adding a few extra pieces. Um, I am pulling a few things from my stash, like the yellow camera, uh, the little wood veneer there on the left. Um, those are actually from my staff. They stash, excuse me, they were not in the kit. Pulling just a few extra things in uh, because the November kit, hip kit was very um, Christmas oriented. Um, so a lot of things in there were from Christmas and since Christmas has already passed and this is New Year's, uh, I went into my stash just to pull a few extra things to uh, little elements to actually add some interest to the layout. And so right now I am going through some of my LA Studio tags in that little bin you see there. I have a ton of LA Studio tags and uh, some of them are older styles. Some of them probably even have been uh, discontinued, but I still have a bunch and I pull them out when I need those. And that was just kind of a space for me to do some journaling. And... Um, you are lovely tag, that little round tag. You know, I've had that so long, I honestly don't even remember where it came from. I think it might have been an Etsy shop or something where I got some tags, and so I am I pulled it out and uh, thought that I would try to use that. I'm trying to dig into my stash as much as I can and pull out and add to other products that I have, just so that I can try to get through some of the stuff, because as we all do, I have a lot of stash to pull from. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, that happy 2015 that I'm gluing down right now, that was cut on my silhouette, like I said, uh, using the PAL uh, paper, uh, which actually cuts really nice on the silhouette. I do love that paper. 
and I'm going through some labels here. I do use labels a lot on my Project Life. Um, I probably don't do a lot of like straight journaling. I probably should do more, really. Um, but typically, what I will do is I will, you know, just put a label and put a little, you know, blurb on the label uh, about what what it is that I'm doing. So, um, or what's the the photos from? So, um, I do a lot of labels. Typically, I will just cut sheets at a time on my silhouette and have them in a little bucket or in a little box to use. So, um, the uh, like I said, the New Year's Eve file that was from uh, Ashley Horton's uh, shop on Etsy, which is the cut shop. She's got some great uh, files available. That love was actually a silhouette cut. I'm trying to think of who made that, and I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look. It may have been from the silhouette store, or it may have been from... I honestly don't remember. I'll have to go back and look. I'm sorry. Um, since I did have some gold on this spread, I did pull out some of my Heidi Swap um, cards there from her gold kit that she had and kind of like helped just kind of tie that in together uh, with that uh, those gold elements. And again, um, I'm using the pattern paper you see there is from the hip kit. Just cut it down to the 4x6 size or 3x4, whichever I needed and am just uh, putting my photo directly on the paper. And again, going into my labels. Those are some old alphas that I had in my stash. I want to say they may have been making memories, but I, I can't say for sure because I don't have the package anymore. But I've had them forever, and they're nice alphas. I just don't seem to, I guess, use them much. And um, you're going to see me here kind of struggle with <laughs> kind of the placement um, of that. Yeah, see, there we go, taking that off and, and redoing it. So, um, and then once I had them down, they actually stuck down so well that when I was pulling them up, some of them were ripping, and so I was having to kind of re-glue them down or even replace them. So, um, yeah, I should, probably should have done that on the wax paper first just to make sure my placement was right. But anyway, it worked out. Uh, worked out fine. I do get it uh, get it completed and that uh, picture there is my grandson. It was on New Year's Eve and you know we had you know the party hats and things and he wasn't really like too impressed with some of it. He I think he was just tired. It was getting late and so I put the hat on him and I just wanted a picture of him in a party hat and he just like grabbed his head and the hat came down over his eyes and it was hilarious. I was so glad I got a picture of it and so that um, just seemed to fit uh, exactly the picture. Oh, it's going to be a long night. It was like he was just done. You know, he did. We had the uh, party blowers and the, you know, the horns that you blow. And oh my goodness, he did not like those at all. Which is funny because he's usually like all into that kind of stuff. And he's very, he's very boyish, totally a boy and is rough and loud. And um, so anyway, here I am uh, wrapping this up and going here back to the layout and showing you uh, the completed part of it and uh, sorry I didn't mean to jump tracks there but um, we're nearing, nearing the end and so here it is all laid out for you and uh, that is the end of that week and um, thank you so much for watching please leave me a comment if you're enjoying the videos I'd love to hear your feedback and thanks so much have a great day